Hi everyone. Today I have with me problem 4.7. This is a forces problem. I'm going to try to speed through it as fast as I possibly can just because I have so much work today, but I really wanted to post a video because if I don't post it now, then I'm not going to have time to post it later on. Okay. Anyways, fun fact, today is the first snowfall of the year. So where I am, where I'm living. Okay. Anyways, let's get to the problem. So a 68.5 kilogram skater moving initially at 2.40 meters per second on rough horizontal ice comes to rest uniformly in 3.52 seconds due to friction from the ice. What force does friction exert on the skater? Okay, so with this problem, we're going to start off by drawing a diagram. And to do that, well, yeah, to do that, to draw our diagram, um, we're only doing this because really, um, we want to, we want to understand the problem a little bit better. Okay. There we go. And I'm just going to give her a little, a little cute little scarf on her neck. And I'm going to draw her some hair. I love skating. And in honor of winter, I had to do this problem. Well, in honor of the first snowball, I had to do this problem. Okay. So, so we have this skater and she's skating. And I'm just going to assume that she's going this way, right? So that's just like the frame of reference that I'm setting up. Or sorry, that's just like the direction that I'm setting her up and doesn't really matter. Okay. Anyways, so I'm going to just um, annotate this. So the mass, the mass of her is 68.5 kilograms. Okay. She's starting at 2.40 meters per second. And then she comes to rest at like, for example, this spot, right? Towards the end. And she comes to rest. And that means that she's going to be at zero meters per second. So it's really interesting that this is a forces problem, but there's so many different pieces of information. And uh, in a minute, we'll figure out why that is. Okay, so the other thing is that how long does this, this, does this process take of her slowing down to come to complete rest? 3.52 seconds. Okay, so 3.52 seconds, that is how long it takes. Now, we want the force that friction exerts on her, but wait a minute what are the forces that are sort of like at work in general? So let's draw that out. So let's just assume that this box is going to like replace the skater for a second. And let's just talk about the different forces. So because I can't really like talk to people and like ask you guys to come up with the forces, I'm just going to go ahead and quickly list them. But there's going to be the force of gravity, right? So there's FG, right? Because we're assuming that this is happening on planet Earth, right? Because there's no real indication otherwise. So I'm going to, you know, I think that's a safe assumption that this is happening on planet Earth. And that means that there's going to be a force of gravity, right? That's 9.80. Um, the, the, that the acceleration is 9.80 meters per second squared, right? Um, it could be happening on the moon, but we're just going to assume the force of gravity is from planet Earth. Okay. Anyways, not that it matters in this question. I don't know why I'm just like rambling. Ignore that part. Okay. Then because this box or person is touching a surface, there's also going to be a normal force. And this normal force is going to be opposed to the force of gravity. And these both like cancel each other out, right? So the the person who or the skater is not like you know they're floating in the air or they're like you know falling down to the ground and, or in free fall you know right they're just at like they're at rest they're at rest in the y direction right so these two cancel each other out the only other force that's like at play here is the force of friction right and it's going to be the in the opposite direction that the skater is going right and why is that let's think about it logically for a second right so if you're um, like skating in one direction, right, then if you're being slowed down, then you're going to be, if you're being slowed down, that means that friction is working in the opposite direction, right? Because if it was working in the same direction as you, then you would speed up, right? So if there's any force against you, it's slowing you down. And that's what friction is here, right? So there's the force of friction. Okay. So now that we've sort of like made it clear on like um, the only real force that's like at play that doesn't cancel out is friction and that's why the skater is being slowed down or is like deaccelerating to rest from 2.40 meters per second. Okay, let's go ahead and write down all of our givens and our wants. So our want is that we want to know what the force of friction is. What is that? We don't know. Okay, mass we said is 68.5. The initial speed is 2.40 meters per second. The final speed 
is zero meters per second. The time it takes is 3.52 seconds. And what else? Did I miss anything? Hmm. I don't think so. And if I did, I'll add it later. Okay. So that's it. Now, interestingly enough, actually, okay. So because we want to find out the force of friction, what is that? What is force in general, right? So force in general is mass times acceleration. And we know that, you know, friction is, um, friction is what's causing her to deaccelerate. So this acceleration is going to be the deacceleration from 2.40 to rest in 3.52 seconds. And there we go, we have a kinematics problem. So all we really have to do is we have to solve for the acceleration. And to do that, we're going to have um, our formula, which is Vf minus Vi over T. And Vf is 2.40, or no, no, Vf is zero. Right, so our final speed is zero. So zero meters per second minus 2.40 meters per second over, what's the total time? 3.52 seconds. So all together, that is minus 2.4 divided by 3.52. Um, and my calculator is telling me that the acceleration or the deacceleration is minus 0 0.68181, right? 1.8, okay, sure meters per second squared. It doesn't really matter how many decimal places you carry as long as you do enough to like maintain some sort of um like accuracy, right? Okay. Accuracy to the final answer. Okay. Anyways, so there we go. That's our acceleration. And if you look, we have our mass already. So our force is going to be, force of friction is going to be mass, 68.5 times acceleration, which is minus 0. 6818 meters per second squared, right? And this is going to be in kilograms. And if we multiply that together, we get minus 46.70, right? And this minus really what that indicates is that it's in the opposite direction as a skater, right? So that makes sense because we said that our force of friction was going to be in the opposite direction as, you know, the direction that the skater was skating, which is this direction. So that makes sense that we have a negative um, answer, right? So that's going to be minus 46.70 newtons, and that is our final answer. That is the force that friction exerts on the skater. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, please feel free to leave them in the comments or send me an email. Thank you so much for watching. And if you find my videos helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And um, I love reading your comments. So yeah, that's pretty much it for me. Um, thank you so much for watching and see you next time. Bye.